Yo guys, boys and girls, it is Kiralis. Welcome back to some backseat trucking with Kiralis. That is moi. This is Euro Truck Simulator numero dos, and this is actually episode fifty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, look at the traffic jam I'm causing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know what? Let me just get out of the town and I'm gonna announce the winner from the previous episode. So, just to be on the safe side, we are in Lublin, Poland, alright? And we are traveling to Kraków, which is here. Never been there in the game, been there in real life. Kiralis was actually born somewhere on this road. Not on the road, not on the road, in a city here about called Kielce. Not really sure if it, that might be it here. Nah, it should be down here somewhere. Like here, maybe. It's called Kielce, right? So, let's, you know, hopefully add it someday. But nevertheless, you know what? Let me just turn off those thing lights. Let me see. There we go. Engine. Parking brake off. Oops. <laughs> sorry. So, oops, sorry. Somebody's just shitting his pants back there. <laughs> like, oh my god, I got pipes incoming. And I still haven't, you know, figured out my force feedback. But we're gonna figure it out. Don't worry about it. Why are you why are you turning you shit face? I had green light. Come on. So yeah guys, what is up? I got some topics. I got some questions from you because you're being awesome and all and writing questions. So don't forget it guys. Please do write those questions. Otherwise it's gonna be very lame question and answers if we don't get any questions in, right? And the first topic I've got. Or should we just wait and announce the winner? No, let's just leave town first of all, right? And then I'm gonna announce the winner. But the first topic I've got is dream hack. And you might be like, what is dream hack? It's like one of the biggest lawn party events in Scandinavia, I guess. Maybe in even Europe. It's like thousands of people coming there and gaming. There's gonna be some esports events and everything. And it's this weekend, this upcoming weekend. Mm hmm and for those Swedish people who go in there I'm gonna be there guys so if you're there don't don't be don't know don't feel embarrassed come by the Ubisoft booth I'm gonna be sitting there gaming some Ubisoft's game and games and just dripping about and having a good time so do come by and say hello if you're there promise me all right Ubisoft booth Keralis is there you won't miss me. I'm gonna wear a hat and everything. It's gonna be bananas. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, I was looking at the screen. So yeah, that's the first topic. And then, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's pull in here. Let's just get some gas, maybe. And once we're getting some gas... <laughs> He's shitting me. Going back, going back, going back. We're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing this. There we go. Perfect. Turn off the engine, get out, and refuel. All right, so announcing the winner from the previous episode. Awkward drums on the desktop with one hand because I'm refueling gas, right? Congratulations, Denver. O-I-O-O, -O -O, or Denver 0100. Not really sure what that's, that is, buddy, but congratulations nevertheless. Check your YouTube inbox. Go on Steam, put in the game key, and bam, a track game in your face, bud. So hopefully you will enjoy, and you're gonna enjoy it, because I'm enjoying this game. This game is badass. And the same goes for next episode, guys. You know, just, just put a comment below that you're interested in the game. Hit that like button, don't be shy, guys. If you do enjoy this series, please do it, because, you know, it kind of helps the series, kind of keeps me motivated recording more and stuff. So, don't feel ashamed, just hit that like button. Oh, DFDS Logistics, pretty awesome. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully I will be able to pick you. The music in the background is actually by a real-life friend of mine. They got a band called Negative Nancy. And awesome songs, do check them out, guys. There should be a link in the description as well. I've got some mixed music today. Are you shitting me? Come on. All right, all right, go in, 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 go in. I'm going. No, I'm gonna make it. Yes, of course. Love it. So yeah, negative Nancy in the background playing on the radio, just chilling, relaxing with Keralis, right? 
I'm playing using my new graphics card, by the way. Not the Titan. I'm actually using the 780 Ti. And so far, guys, I gotta say, it is amazing. Like, it is not, it's not a big difference between a Titan and a 780. But I can notice it in some games. For example, like in Battlefield, it actually gives me at least 20 FPS more when recording in uh, full HD. And that's kind of kind of alright. Alright, so what's going on? You know what? I'm going. You just stand there and look stupid. Perfecto El Mundo. And the next topic I've got. Alright, so a guy called Wow Dude 2008. He wrote me, you really need to install some trailer mods, man. This is so lame. And I was like, I cried myself to sleep that night. I was like, did that dude really write that this is so lame because I don't have a trailer mod pack? I'm just kidding. But guys, that's the topic. Mods. If you find any cool mods, which I can use for this series, just put them in there. Send me a private message. Write them in comments, and I'm gonna check them out. Did that sign just say 70, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just do 90 and be all happy about it. Maybe it said 70. As you can see, wh why is there so many people on this bridge? There's nothing here besides a bridge. Where do you guys come from? There's not even like a sidewalk. That's just crazy. Yeah, so do put them in the comments, send me a private message, because, you know, I'm up for mods, guys. I'm pro mod. I love mods. I love, like, you know, seeing the full potential a game can give, and using mods is just awesome. So, guys, don't, don't you know, don't, don't be ashamed, just put them in there. So, let me just see here. Um, trip information, 201 kilometers to destination, which is Krakow, which is a beautiful city, guys. If you ever go to Poland... Go to Krakow, because you will love it. I, it's just beautiful down there. It's actually the old capital of Poland. Well, it, it was actually the capital. No, Warsaw was the capital. And then they got a king. I don't know who, which king it was. Maybe like King Sigismund or something in Poland. And then he moved the capital from Warsaw to Krakow. And uh, it's like an amazing castle down there. It's just beautiful. But go summertime. Because then you can go to the, the like the big the big square in the center of the city and just enjoy it because it's just bananas. So yeah, that was trippy information. Now to your questions, all right? Are you guys ready for this? Let me just slow down here because this might get nasty. Is this Kelsa, by the way? No, maybe not. Maybe this is Kelsa. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, it would be so incredible having like, your own hometown in the game. I would love to have it. Just imagine if they add Easter or Kelsa in the game. I would buy a workshop straight away. And first question is from... Let me see here. Dr. Daniel. Are you a real doctor, Dr. Daniel? Because, you know, I don't know. I just subscribed to your channel after watching you play with B-Dubs, b, -dubs, b -O, that is. You seem like a cool YouTuber, thank you very much, dude. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of your videos. Dude, that's so awesome, thank you. What type of career, whoops, sorry, I was reading, would you want to get into if your YouTube didn't exist, or if YouTube didn't exist anymore? You know, I have actually no idea. I've been thinking about that, because before doing YouTube full-time. I was a logistics manager in a logistics company, so I was, you know, I was just managing trucks and everything. It was pretty cool, I liked it a lot, but like, kind of got boring after a while, right? So, I was kind of thinking like, if, if YouTube didn't exist now, if like one day I just woke up and YouTube was like non-existent, I would look into a game, game-related job, like maybe game developing or just something which has to do with games. That would just rock my boat. By the way, this Volvo truck is pretty beastly, guys. I know some people are kind of offended. <laughs> Not offended. They kind of dislike, strongly dislike the, the new Volvo grill in the front. But, mm -mm, not this guy. Keralis loves it. I think just this truck just looks badass. It looks like... It's not a Scania, I tell you that. But it's a beautiful truck, nevertheless. Uh, so, yeah, I would do some gaming-related stuff, dude. Just chilling, relaxing. 
doing games. I don't know, it's, it's hard to say, but I think I would do something like that. Next question is, by the way, <laughs> Dr. Daniel, thank you for subscribing to my channel and being all happy about it, and I'm happy about it. And hopefully you will enjoy all the future content. Next question is from Finr730. Let me see. It's so hard reading the questions at the same time once you're driving a truck, you know? It's just crazy. Next question, let me see here. Do you still drive a Mercedes? Uh, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy, brake, brake paralysis, brake. Oh no. <laughs> we got a roadblock. They are building roads in Poland. Incredible, right? This is like a common sight in Poland, to be honest. Because Poland had, like, you know, the Euro Cup in football or soccer for some. And uh, they were doing a lot of. Look how amazing this looks, by the way. That looks freaking realistic. I absolutely dig this. <laughs> they even got those putties down there. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we made it. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, do you still drive a Mercedes? Yes, I do, buddy. I, I got my, you know, E-Class Mercedes uh, estate wagon thing. Uh, and I like it, you know. Uh, it's big, the, the baby fits in it, the baby trolley fits in it, and everything is just fine, and everyone is happy about it. Um, what made you choose it? I actually don't know. I had a Mercedes back in the days, and... Uh, I really liked it. it, it never broke down on me, like never. I had it like for a long time and didn't have a single problem with it. So, is that my big boy lights by the way? Let me see. I don't want the big boy lights or the small lights. Let me see, where the hell, oop, no wipers. That's those lights, there we go. <laughs> I think the lights are on. Yeah. Um, I had a Mercedes back in the days and I enjoyed it because it never broke down. So the next car I was buying, I was like, Okay, we might get a babe, right? We might get a babe and we need a room. So I just bought this estate E-Class and I gotta say, I have it I had I've had it for like four or five years now. It's getting old guys. It's like 2008 model, I guess, or something. And I'm I'm kinda trying trying to to stick with it, but I think we just need to replace it in like the near future, I guess. But if I choose another car, it might be a Mercedes because they might be expensive, It might they might be overpriced, and if it breaks down, it's goddamn, it's, then, then it's expensive. But so far, so good, it's knock on wood. It hasn't broken down yet, right? So, yeah, still keeping my Mercedes, I guess. Is the badge important to you? Oh, you mean like the car badge? Well, not really, to be honest, like, I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not this car person, I know, like, People like some people are like, if I win money, I'm gonna buy it like this sports car and this sports car, or if I'm getting, if I get rich, I'm gonna buy this and that and this and that. I'm not this guy who's like a car guy. Of course, I would buy a nice car and stuff, but for me, it doesn't really matter what car it is, because I just want to drive. And as long as it gets me to places, I guess that's done dealio, right? That's how I roll basically. So. Nah, the badge is not that important, to be honest. Not to me, at, at least. Not to me. Um, Alright, so, and then he writes, I like Mercedes, but my favorite car brand is, all, is gonna, always gonna be BW, BMW. You know what? They make nice cars. I might, you know, I might look into that as well, because Mercedes and BW, BMW are pretty, like, you know, they're pretty, pretty close, I guess, comparing them to... In my opinion, you know, they make good cars. Although the BMWs, they might look beastly, more beastly than the Mercedes. I just don't know. And uh, thank you, buddy, for your question. Look at this guy. Look at this guy up ahead. He's overtaken. Look at this. This is so Poland. I've seen that happen in in Poland a bunch of times. And you have you do guys. I've seen so many collisions in Poland. It's just crazy. Because when I was young, you know, and I didn't drive. We always drove from Sweden to Poland on the summers and such, and it, the, dr the drive took about maybe 10, 12 hours or something. And my dad was driving, and we've seen so many accidents. This is just insane and pretty nasty stuffs going on in the roads down there. <laughs> A lot of drunk drivers as well. 
That's bad. That's bad. Look at look at this guy. You no, you don't. I'm gonna squeeze in. Nah, he's fast. But look at this. I mean, what is he thinking? Uh, Jonathan Neuberg. Oh, by the way, Finn buddy. Thank you very much for the questions, dude. F next question is from Jonathan. Jonathan Neuberg. He's Swedish. Will there be a countdown to Christmas this year? You know, last year I had like this countdown to Christmas where I had like a showcase one house each day and gave away games and such. And uh, I wish I could do this this year. But like I think in January or something, I changed the company type, which I got my company to run YouTube and such, you know, because I can uh, pay taxes on the money and everything. And I changed the company type and the Swedish tax government they don't allow people to have like an unlimited budget for like, for example, giveaways, presents for your employees and such. And I kind of already exceeded that amount this year. Don't ask me like how it works. My accountant just said like, you can't have it. <laughs> I asked him actually, can like, can I just take out money from the company, buy this and buy that, have a giveaways? Because you know, we kind of pay special taxes on that and stuff. And he said like, he looked into the numbers and stuff and he said like, no, no, Keralis, it's a no-go zone. And I was like, no. So, basically, I can't really afford it, guys. I wish I could, but I mean, now that we got Baby K as well, you know, and <laughs> he's like, you know, he takes, he takes a lot of money, that guy. He does. Everything with Baby K costs billions, billions, and trillions of dollars. Now, maybe not, but he's expensive. So you know what, I just need to think about the babe and the family this year, guys. And hopefully I'm gonna save up some money next year or something and have have giveaways by that. Oh my god, my force feedback going bananas. So don't hopefully you don't like you know feel like oh my god, no giveaway to Christmas this year. It sucks. But uh, yeah, don't don't feel sad about it guys. I wish I could do it, but I can't. It's not my, not my choice. It's actually like, you know, I, I went professional as soon as I quit my job and changed my company type, I was not allowed to have it anymore. They said no, no. So, yeah, I'm gonna save up money. And maybe, hopefully next year, we can have something special. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna promise you anything, because you never know. <laughs> this is like a drunk driver, Kiralis. Look at this. We got this, we got this. Oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Moment of truth. Are you kidding me? There we go, perfect. I'm not gonna brag about this, but we just got an excellente iron pipes delivered to, from Lublin to Krakow. 4 hours 46 minutes in game time. Fuel consumption, 142 liters, and let me see here. We got 8,477 euros. Holy snap, new upgrades available, what? Let me see, Volvo, got a new engine for the Volvo, which kind of looks alright, 750 horsepower. then we got some rear wheels, Absolute Fury, kind of like those, to be honest, kind of like those, we might check it out, you know, might check it out, and let me just see here, I need to sleep, I guess, uh, maybe not, let me see, how, how, how are we doing on the time, let me see here, it's time, oh yeah, I need to sleep, snappy wap, let's see, there's, I can see a bed just across the street. Let me just go there and sleep. We're gonna wake up <laughs> because that is, that is what you usually do, I hope, when you sleep, right? Damn, I had so many questions lined up, dude. Look at this. Look at this guy. What an awesome person that was. Let's just go into this hotel and sleep a deep a bit. <laughs> Can you hear my force feedback? It's just going nuts. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Let me just sleep here. I had so many questions, but I'm so I'm just a slow person, I guess. Okay, so. Oh, nighttime driving with Corrales. No, sleep once more. I hate driving in the night times. There we go. Five is Friday. Let me see here. Fright Market from Krakow in Poland. For the next episode, that is. Copenhagen. Go there and get some Pilsen. Katowice. That is like a close... Look at this trip. You know what? Since this is kind of special, guys. Let me see. It ends in 41 minutes. 
this is kind of the fiftieth episode. So you know what? Let's 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 do one more. Let's do one more, just because we can. I'm not being a poo poo, and then I can maybe get some more questions done. I guess. <laughs> I doubt myself though. Stamp. That was bad. Let me see. Where the hell is that LKV Walter thingy? Whoops. Sorry, I was looking at the GPS. <laughs> I caused so many collisions with my own track. You're flashing lights. Thank you. Thank you. And you? Oh my god. Those nice peoples here in Poland. Love them to bits. So let's just hurry to this little thing here and grab no <laughs> red lights in my face okay barky barky muscle limb muscle limb how old are you oh dude i'm like stone old like i'm 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 past old i'm 32 years old buddy so that's pretty old <laughs> Call of Duty is the best, that's his third question. It's not even a question, question, but it's like Call of Duty is the best. It all depends. It's in the eye of the beholder. I think Battlefield is the best. Number four. Miss Kratos is so beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually tell her that you wrote that. And she's gonna be all happy about it. It's not a question, but you know, it's, it's a nice compliment, I guess. So thank you, buddy. Baby K is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Barky, I mean, come on, stop flattering me. All right, then we got a question. Did you play the Battlefield 4 campaign? And the answer to that question is no. Keralis did not play the campaign yet, but he's gonna play the campaign. In the near future, hopefully, if I just get the time, you know, because this recording and everything is just crazy. Just takes so much time. Um, let me see here. Guys, I felt like we had billions of questions, but we don't. Snap. Edward Ma, did you ever come to Hong Kong? And what did you feel about Hong Kong and China? I've never been to Hong Kong. I would love to go to Hong Kong one day. Uh, let me just see here. Where the hell is this company? Oops. It's here, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think it's here. Perfecto! Let's see here. I can see our trailer here, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but then again, I mean, if I don't have any questions, you know what? Maybe we should go to... Oh my god, that's gonna be a long trip. You know what? No. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No. Not, not gonna go there. Guys, let me see here. Since I don't have any more questions, I, I can't really continue this, I guess. But, nevertheless... Uh, I don't wanna... Do I need to reverse out from this? Let me see here. There we go. Uh, Fright Market. I would love to go to China, Edward, buddy. Uh, or Hong Kong, for that matter. Um, but at this point, I haven't been able to. I would, just, I would just love going there and just checking out all this cool stuff. We got Stockholm, we got Poznan in Poland. What else do we got from here? Katowice, Kiel, Copenhagen, Linz in Austria, and Ostrava in the Czech Republic. Snap, you know what? It's gonna be a surprise for the next episode what I'm gonna, I'm go what I'm gonna pick. Maybe I'm gonna sleep once more or something just so we get any more exciting loads, but this gonna sucks, monkey balls. I thought we were gonna do like a special episode, but then I ran out of questions for some reason. I thought this Barkett guy, he's got, he, like, I mean, I just saw six, six questions. I was like, yeah, it's questions, but then it's, there no wasn't questions really, buddy. It was like cool stuff and very nice stuff said about Miss Kerales and Baby K and everything, but no questions. So guys, this is Kerales. Congratulations, Denver 001, 0100 or OIOO. Oh, yo. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the game, dude. Same goes for the next, as I said, guys. Just put a comment. Don't be shy. Hit that like button. This is Kiralis. I'm leaving you with this. Thank you for all the questions. But, guys, please write more questions. So we can maybe have our, uh, two episodes recorded and on, on the same questions, all right? Or something. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Happy tracking. I'm leaving you with this. Take care. And bye-bye.